Nerdy Sports Fan here with your post-game analysis for the Thursday night football game between the Miami Dolphins and the Houston Texans. Now this is kind of what we expected, guys. The Houston Texans are rolling right now. I mean, most teams would against inferior competition, but they've got the offense clicking on all cylinders, the defense is getting after people, and they very much look like a strong playoff contender right now. After a very rocky start where Bill O'Brien was coaching for his job, he responded. He's brought this team back together. They're firing on all cylinders and doing very, very well. Now, I honestly expected there to be less passing towards the end than there was because I expected Houston to have a comfortable lead, which they did, but they kept the pedal to the floor, and Deshaun Watson, Hopkins, Fuller, Miller, all doing extremely well in the skill positions, and fantasy owners of all of those players were quite thankful for this performance. Now... On the Miami side of things, you should have expected this. But Adam Gase isn't the reason. That man did very, very well crafting an offensive game plan for this game. It just was not executed. Brock Osweiler overthrew multiple deep receivers during the game. He uh, didn't hit easier targets for first downs and instead made more wild throws down the field that didn't connect. So they're really hoping Tannehill can come back and save this season towards the end of it. And they're hoping that they don't lose so much during this stretch that they can't catch up. Now that shouldn't be a problem for them. They're in a weak division right now. They have two rookie quarterbacks they're going against in their division, and they should be able to pull away with wins there. I understand they have the Patriots, but... The other two are bad enough that they should be able to take advantage. So, they can sneak into the playoffs. Don't worry about that right now, Dolphins fans. Just focus on the fact that Adam Gase's offense works. The defense can't be judged when they're on the field all the time. When Osweiler turns the ball over, as he almost did a lot more, should have done a few times more than he did today... I mean, that was a fumble where he threw it behind himself, right? Um, You can't fault an Osweiler-led Miami offense for losing this one. They definitely got superior competition here. I mean, even when they did things wrong, the Houston Texans looked fantastic doing it. That play where DeAndre Hopkins just jumps up for the ball, one-hands the thing, pulls it underneath his leg, and pings it up against the bottom of his leg in order to complete the catch. It was nuts. But he pushed off. So, you know, it it got voided. But the guy's really talented, and that's the kind of competition they were against without anybody else to answer in that way. So, for me, that was a microcosm of the game. You know, Houston being way more talented than they even needed to be in this situation. So, Houston's probably going to the playoffs. I mean, they're likely to win that division at this point with the competition they have. Jaguars haven't been doing well benching their quarterback. You got Andrew Luck being the only person that matters in Indianapolis. And, um, of course, you have the Tennessee Titans, which might have a good coach now. Might not might have a good personnel, might not. I mean, you don't really know what they are. You don't really think they're going to figure it out. They're probably going to end up, you know, moving on from Mariota eventually. I don't see him really catching on. But enough about the rest of the division. Um, Check out the rest of my videos if you want to look into that. I do a set on fantasy football breakdowns prior to the games every single week. I was right on a lot of things in this game, wrong on a few, but, uh, you know, that's kind of the ups and downs of the game. So, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit me up on my Instagram, at the Nerdy Sports Fan, and we will see you next week.